here live at Abilities United in Palo Alto with two of the Stanford students who have developed a creative art tool for people with disabilities. So my first question, guys, is why did you decide to make an art tool for people with disabilities? Uh, we decided to make a art tool for people with disabilities so they can um, increase their sort of creative independence, so they can have more independence when they're creating art, so they can uh, uh, see an, uh, a painting or a, a drawing and they can start coloring it the way they want to in any form or fashion. And we wanted to facilitate that process for them. My next question is, what materials did you use for creating this tool? So the materials that we used, um, we, we wanted to use materials that were easy to acquire. So something that you could go into your local hard, hardware store and purchase. Um, so currently our prototype consists of pieces of Duron, which is just um, uh, medium density fiber or, or wood, uh, as well as your general run of the mill nuts and bolts um, with a, a small lazy susan bearing which which also could be bought at a uh, hardware store and the little helping hand mechanism is uh, actually made from pieces of an articulated lamp that we <laughs> we repurposed uh, which can also be made of just simple um, uh, beams that you could purchase at a home depot or ace hardware um, and yeah, that's actually it. That's all it's composed of. Our device has two sub-components. Uh, the first is an adjustable easel. So that's uh, mainly meant to hold up the, uh, I guess, your, the paper that you're coloring on or painting on uh, in an orientation that's accessible for that individual. And the second part of this device is the, the helping hand, uh, which holds up the art tool. So our participants don't have to worry about holding it upright and they just have to worry about moving it in the plane of the the piece of paper that they're coloring on. Uh, why do you like working with these participants on on the um, artwork that they do? What we've been doing in the past is hand over hand. Yes. And the hand over hand is pretty much just that. Well, devices that the students came up with takes that. So it's more of an independence form. They most certainly get a sense of achievement, you know, just like I do or you would, you know, so it's good to see the achievement of what Abilities United most certainly brings together. But the students from Stanford, the engineering department, the art department, kudos to you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, how, how, how could somebody not be taken by that?